quick profile transition tool defines the profile of an element by matching the slope and elevation of the adjoining elements. On uh, this design file, I have a plan view, 3D view, and profile view open. And what I want to do is create an active profile for this curve return element and uh, join it to these existing um, features here uh, that are displayed in the 3D view. To access this tool, you'll go to the Open Roads Modeling Workflow under the Geometry tab. And we go to the vertical group under element profiles. We can click the quick profile transition. After I click that, I can select which method I want. Uh, for this method, I would choose linear. And I'm prompted to locate what to define. Um, I'll define this curve return here. And I'll data point on this feature to accept it. And you can see that it created a linear transition here. Um, if I set this profile active, then you'll see it in the 3D view. And it's displayed as follows. Alternatively, we can create a parabolic transition. Um, before I demonstrate how to do that, I want to uh, just simply display the elevation of the intersecting adjacent elements. Um, so to do that, I will use the profile intersect point command and select these two adjoining elements. So you can see here uh, that the elevations are displayed. Um, to demonstrate the parabolic transition, I'll just on the tool again and this time we'll select a parabolic transition method once again define the element by data pointing and accepting here we can see the parabolic transition